See, now Colin Christopher is one of the most popular stage hypnotists in North America. He's a certified clinical hypnotherapist and author of the book Success through manipulation, as you can see. He says the power of the mind to control the body is one of the greatest tools we're born with. And I'm I'm a testament to it. I just I just figured <laughs> it out. Colin Christopher joins us this morning. Welcome. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Oh, this is exciting. This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for quite a while. So first of all, how long have you been doing hypnosis and how did you even become interested in it in the first place? Uh, I've been doing it almost 15 years now. Wow. I I actually saw a hypnosis show, um, you know, I, and I, I became fascinated by it. Mm -hmm. I picked up some books, read about it. Uh, and I started using some friends as guinea pigs to try it out and see if it actually really worked. Uh -huh. And then from there, I, uh, I fell in love with it, uh, went to school and became a clinical hypnotherapist and started performing and the rest is history. That's incredible. I always think of it almost like a superhero. So you have to use your powers for good things. Yes, right? yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> can everyone be hypnotized? Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody can be hypnotized. There's different hypnotizability levels. Okay. Um, 15% of people can be hypnotized. They're highly hypnotizable, very easy. Okay. 70% takes a little bit more, uh, you know, two or three times, and then they become very comfortable with it. Okay. Then there's 15% that are they're in that low hypnotizable area, mm -hmm. and they're, they're difficult to hypnotize. They can do it, but it just takes work. So in all seriousness, what does hypnosis actually feel like? Uh, it, it's just, a, it, it varies a little bit from person to person, but it's just a deep state of relaxation where you mm -hmm. become focused on particular suggestions depending on what it is that you want to work on. Wow, the power of suggestion, literally. So what would be the process then? So if you were going to hypnotize me, what would, what would that process work like? Uh, there's lots of different ways of doing it, but typically what I normally do is just get somebody to do some nice deep breathing to help them, their body to relax, and okay. then from there do some, uh, some guided imagery like, uh, like imagining themselves walking down a set of 10 stairs or floating in clouds or something along those lines, something that distracts and engages their subconscious mind. And then you start with the suggestions, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. And do people actually make requests to you more often than not? Are they usually saying to you, here's what I want to, I, I want to stop doing this or I want to start doing that? Uh, yeah, typically, like for therapy sessions, people come to see me something for something specific. Mm -hmm. You know, usually quitting smoking, losing weight, or uh, some of the other topics are like sexual dysfunction or. Right. Um, uh, hypnosis for childbirth is actually becoming very popular. Really? Too. Yeah. That's interesting. And you know, you're also a comedic hypnosis mm -hmm. because, I mean, obviously, if you're going to be a hypnotist, you're going to be out there on a stage, but you want to make people laugh. You will, you will uh, definitely see how he does this. <laughs> We've got a clip of a woman that he hypnotized to think she was Beyonce. What? Thank you, no, but it's the truth. This year's Beyonce. One, two, standing up at three. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we have Beyonce. <laughs> for real, right? That is totally completely for real, yeah. How, how did you hypnotize her? What's the backstory? Uh, it was just a show. She was up on stage, similar to what we talked about before, except uh, for that one I was doing, because it was a group, uh -huh. uh, and there's stage lighting, so I was able to go through a color scheme for hypnotizing them, and, but essentially the same way, and just <laughs> relaxing, and away it went. And she had no dance classes prior to that moment. <laughs> so besides for stage entertainment, there's also a really serious side to hypnosis, like yeah. we kind of just touched on a little bit. What are some of the conditions that you treat with hypnosis? Uh, well, as I said, like the, the hypnosis for childbirth is becoming mm -hmm. very popular popular athletic performance oh. uh, like golfers uh, I'm from Canada so we do I do a lot of hockey players and hockey teams that kind of stuff nice. um, so sports teams and then the quitting smoking losing weight are fairly mm -hmm. common uh, okay. relationship issues as well yeah I, I was curious though if somebody was on their own at home are there any self hypnosis techniques that mm -hmm. they can try to do yeah, typically, like if you go online, you can you can find uh, MP3s for relaxation, those kinds of things. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is just take some nice deep breaths in, close your eyes, usually before bed, mm -hmm. and then go through muscle contractions, like pick parts of your body, like start with your legs, okay. and then go up through your body and up to your face. Really? And just as you're breathing in, contract the muscles, and as you're breathing out, just let them relax, and you uh, you'll become hypnotized and have a good relaxation session. That's great advice. And viewers can actually download five free chapters.
chapters of your book. So yeah. what's that website so they can go there? Uh, SuccessThroughManipulationBook.com. Great. And of course, ColinChristopher.com as well to find out more details and to follow you and maybe catch some of your presentations. Absolutely. We'd love to do that. Yeah. Colin, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.